Here's it. Adam. Adam Kokesh, everybody. I'm kind of glad there's a law against shitting in public. <laughs> Whenever I see someone defecating in public, and it, I mean, it happens all the time. I mean, it, it happened so often, I, I, I started a petition to make sure that we had such a law against defecating in public. Because when I see someone defecating in public, the first thing I think is, wow, that person needs to be locked in a cage. Yeah. We couldn't possibly help someone like that. We couldn't possibly look at the root cause of whatever that problem might be. It might be feedback? It might be. It's All right. Feedback's illegal. You like it? <laughs> feedback is illegal. Well, I, I'm, really, I'm really excited about this because this was Eddie Free's idea. I'm just kidding. It was actually my idea, but Eddie came up with it first. <laughs> and I'm serious. That's exactly how it happened. I saw this story when I was doing my podcast, and I was like, we need another civil disobedience action. Yes, that's it. And I was like, I go to my, my, my assistant and my interns, and I'm like, hey, check this out. I got another idea for an event. <clears throat> Eddie's already made the Facebook page. <laughs> I, I wish I could take that much credit for the Jefferson dance party, but that was totally him. Um, <laughs> but what, 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 what's so exciting about this is that this is like a culture that's developing, is it not? Yeah. I, I mean, I don't have to come up with these ideas anymore. I, Eddie, Eddie does all the hard work, right? But no, think about this. We see a bullshit law like this. We see the story, and what do we do? We say, fuck you. We're not going to do what you tell us. We're going to come out, and we're going to walk around in our bathing suits because we can. How exciting is that? Now, check this out. How many people do we have RSVP'd on Facebook? What, like 150? Yeah. yeah. Right? And so we got like a third here. That's that's sort of typical for, for Facebook versus reality. Or is that always just like the internet versus reality? It's a third of what you what what it looks like as advertised on the internet. But what what happened? We got the the law was the law was overturned or the the uh, the, the the ordinance was changed, and we came out here and said we're going to do this. And we have we have a man in a blue costume right here, and I love it. Look, he's he's talking to Eddie. He's talking to the the or, the, the dangerous organizer of this event, which in and of itself now is an act of civil disobedience. And what's so cool is that we're just getting away with this. We're not supposed to be here right now. This is an illegal gathering. There's a man with a gun right here threatening to shut this down. And because we have a man like Eddie in charge of this, I'm not in charge. No, no one's in charge here, right? I don't want to. I don't want to put him with any more responsibility than than he needs to take on here. But because he's here and Danny's here, standing up to the cops, saying. But we're supposed to be here. We have freedom of speech. You can't just come on and tell us, no, we're not allowed to do this because you have a law or you have an ordinance or what have you. And we're getting through this. I think I'm the last speaker. I know y'all want to hear music, right? We want to get the uh, the Almighty Terribles back on here. Woo! But yeah. this, is, this is a culture that's developing. And people have asked me, Adam, why, why do you protest this silly shit? Why do you guys protest? Bathing suit laws, cursing laws. You know, like Chris said, we were in Middleborough, Massachusetts for the free fucking speech demonstration. But look at what happened. We had 150 people signed up on Facebook and they said, oh crap, we better overturn that ordinance. We better stop enforcing this. And I say, well, what's next? Because this really is petty. Is, do you not feel stupid? Everybody here, do you feel a little bit stupid going, like, raise your hand if you feel a little bit stupid being here protesting a law that doesn't exist anymore. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Because it's, it's something incredible to say, hey, there's a law and I'm going to go break it deliberately. But, you know, there's a, there's a whole culture of disrespect for authority that goes so much deeper than any of these bullshit laws. How many of you go out of your way to pay as much in taxes as you possibly can? Yeah, yeah not as many hands this time. But there's something distinct about saying, I'm not just going to break this law and I'm going to run and hide. I'm going I'm to hide from the man in the costume. I'm going to run away because he might come after me and put me in a cage. You know what I'm saying? We're going to stand right up and we're going to be right here and we're going to have an event that's, oh, excuse me. I, would, I think I might have been gu guilty of assaulting a police officer there. I interfered with the waving of his hand. I've seen people arrested for less. And saying, no, we're going to stand up, we're going to be out in the open, and we're just going to say, no, the laws don't apply. We are nullifying them on an individual level. And I hate to say for all of you today, you were robbed of that opportunity. So you're going to have to find the next one. And I guarantee you there's another bullshit law. Eddie had a whole list of them here. Can we can we break some today? Do we have some that are throw some pickles anybody in the have a pickle to throw out? Anybody have a bad pickle? That's not a sex joke, I promise. <laughs> Borat's here. 
<laughs> Come on, we gotta, gotta like. That's illegal, I'm sure. Is that illegal? No, that's not illegal. Let's see it. Come on, I gotta call you out while we got everybody together here. Four rats. Four rats. Four rats. Four rats. You just exposed yourself. I saw you. Uh -oh. oh, no. So now we have another violent act against someone who's acting peacefully, simply, simply trying. I will help it. You can't dress yourself. You obviously need the help of government. This is this is what government is for, right? What's your name, bud? You can't dress yourself. If you accidentally expose yourself, you get locked in a cage. This is what happens. I guess we couldn't just have a nice peaceful day at the beach without people with guns coming and erupting when we say we are not going to respect the authority the of the There's going to have to be some arbitrary application of force. There's going to be, have, have to be somebody that we justify our differences. There's going to have to be a victim. There's going to have to be a victim. There's going to have to be a victim. There's going to have to be someone who knows how to justify all these people with guns going to justify their budgets and their existence. If you didn't have a police officer here to protect us from a man in a bathing suit, all hell would break loose. If you didn't have the police here to protect you from people that don't know how to dress yourself, it would be chaos. It would just be chaos. But thank God we have the police here. Look at this law and order. Law and order. This dangerous criminal is being taken away. Sir, would you tell us how the, this is so important to the community that you feel it necessary to take our friend away? No comment. Where's the victim? No comment. No how can there even comment. be a crime if there's no so victim? So this is what happens when we stand Was up as a, a group and say we're going to stand up to the so bullshit I'm laws. Step back a little bit. Right? When we're going to stand up to the bullshit laws here in Asbury Park, okay. what we get. As we get, we get, we get respected. Eddie, when you're with a group and you have minutes, cameras, it's done. It's done. Right. you can stand up. We need to pack up. But you get individuals up. get picked off right. like this. This is how government works. They pick off the people that they can get away with hurting and locking in cages hey, for doing things that people don't like. I gave him that option. I gave him that option. Okay. Right. What is, what is your name? And he uh, said, can I have five more minutes? Well, I gave it to him. And this man just needs to we, drop his hand. Come on, he didn't violate you know the town order. That was your land. Cut your belt. Okay. Okay. the baloney. Where are y'all taking this guy? He didn't intentionally Why are you expose him? himself. He didn't mean, he didn't, that was totally unintentional. Y'all know that. You, you just, just wanted to arrest someone. But if if we're not violating, that was not violating. Just peacefully assemble. Is that? I mean, that's not breaking the law. You can peacefully assemble. Okay, so we don't have to. Cannot do it without amplifiers. Okay, which I allowed that to go on. Right. And you can't do it without the bullhorns. Okay. Okay. If you want to speak, and as long as you're not blocking the boardwalk, you are more than welcome to speak. Okay. Just wanted to make sure. Okay. Thank you. So you're saying he intentionally exposed his genitals to the crowd, or was it an accident? No comment. You have to make a comment. That's why you're arresting him. What are, Obviously, what are you arresting, you're arresting him because you think he, you had to intentionally think, think he intentionally did. I saw you you looked up the indecent before you came here. Didn't Janet Jackson accidentally expose herself? Why wasn't she arrested? It's the same thing. You ever see the movie Borak? <laughs> How much do you get paid? Yeah, are y'all gonna go back home to your wives and your children and tell and, and, and tell please, them how proud the you are of your job? <laughs> Throwing peaceful people into a cage? Excuse me. So now while this dangerous criminal is being taken away, away, you should throw down your badges. The boardwalk is unprotected. And join humanity, gentlemen. Join humanity. Thank you for protecting us from his penis. <laughs> 